Hey friends, welcome back to Homeschoolology. If you're returning, welcome back. It's good to see you. If you're new here, my name is Nikki. I'm a homeschooling mom of four. I've got a seventh grader, a third grader, and five and three year old doing a like pre-K level currently. We are year round homeschoolers, so that will change in August. But today I'm gonna be sharing with you a um, Amazon book haul. So a bunch of books that I picked up for our new homeschool year um, that we will be using. And I got all of this from Amazon. You probably could find some of these things on like thrift books or whatever, but um, I had a coupon to Amazon and so that's where I got them from. So I'm gonna share those with you guys today. So I have them in a stack here. Um, they're not really in a, in a very particular order, but I'll try to keep them, group them together. But um, first one up is the Fallacy Detective. So I saw many, many, many moms sharing this um, on their like, you know, what we're gonna be using next year videos. Uh, there was a collab that uh, we, that I was a part of, um, and I saw some other moms using it too. Um, and so this just looked really great. And I thought about picking this up and pairing it with our like philosophy, like when we do philosophy, um, because I just think this is, this is such a great thing to be teaching our kids, especially nowadays where, you know, things are, the way they are so um but it's basically just just something that you read and then um there's some exercises at the end which is basically the same structure as our philosophy book um i do have a video i'll link it here in case you don't know what i'm talking about um and so i thought this would just be something really great to just as we do a lesson with the philosophy book we do a lesson in this as well and so i'm excited it's got lots of really fun pictures inside um and like comics and stuff and so I'm going to flip to just uh, like a later lesson. This one is hasty generalization. So I just, there were so many moms that shared it and I thought, you know what, that must be um, something that's really worth looking into. And what, now that I have it in my hands, I really agree that it's going to be something that we're going to really enjoy. So I did it get the workbook edition. I don't know. That was the only one that I saw on Amazon was the workbook edition. So I don't know if there's another one that's not, but that's the one that I picked up. So I'll link it down below for you guys as well. Next up, I picked up um, <clears throat> Joy Hakim, um, The Story of Science. Uh, Aristotle leads the way. So this is a three-part book series, um, and I've only just picked up the first one so far. I was expecting it to be a little bit more story-like, and it's a little bit more textbook-like. Um, and so, but which is fine because my older daughter is um, starting to get into, you know, the upper grades. She'll she'll be going into eighth grade, so. So it, you know, she needs to start getting used to this style of book anyways. But what I do love about it is that there are tons of pictures in it. Um, but we haven't started reading it yet. I have started looking through it at, because I'm setting up a Google Classroom um, for our history slash science thing that we're gonna be doing next year, um, which I will be sharing on more later. So make sure you hit that notification bell um, if you wanna see more about that. It'll be coming out pretty soon. While you're down there, I'd love it if you would subscribe to this channel as well. Um, and then, so far I've looked through it. I wasn't a big fan of chapter one, um, but I think moving forward, I think it's where I'm gonna like it and I think it's gonna be really, really help you know solidify the concepts that we're going to be learning so um so far the jury's still out i'm still looking through this but uh, i love that it's the history of science like there i just feel like that's kind of we you know we teach our kids science concepts and we teach our kids you know history of the world but we don't necessarily always cover the history of science and i just think that's a really special approach and this is a great going to be a great resource for that so that is that book that I picked up. Next is I picked up a couple of the Who Was books. Uh, they were doing a buy two, get one free. I know I wanted to pick up this Charles Darwin one and I knew I wanted to pick up the Harriet Tubman one, Tubman one for units that we have coming up. And, though, and so I just also picked up Anne Frank because my daughter read the um, graphic novel version. If I 
I'll, I'll put a uh, image in here for you guys. So she really enjoyed that graphic um, novel version and so I thought that I would go ahead and pick this up so she could just learn a little bit more about that story. So I um, picked that up while I was because it was free when I bought these two. So um, the Charles Darwin I picked up um, some other books. I'm gonna be creating like a um, a unit on Charles Darwin and his theory of evolution um, because it's not really covered in anything else and so I'm I haven't found anything that covers it the way that I want it covered so I picked up some resources the the chart who was Charles Darwin book um, this book which is called one beetle too many um, Candlewick biographies is who does it and it's basically just um, Darwin's story you know it's basically the same information that's in this book but there's lots of really colorful pictures in it um and i just thought that this was would be maybe a good resource for um <clears throat> that unit study as well and then i picked up this book which is charles darwin's origin of species um w turned into a children's book so turned into a like a children's story book um, so really great illustrations, really beautiful pages, um, quick, you know, easy, easy read, you know, it's an easy read. It's getting the information across in a, in an easy, gentle format. I will be using this with my eighth grader, but I'm also, you know, it'd be good with my younger daughter as well. And even my little kiddos might enjoy looking at it. I just thought that this was a, like a gentle way of presenting this material. Um, and then I might also pick up the real book and have her look at my oldest daughter look at that too. But I don't know. Sometimes I feel like, like having, um, just a beautiful snippet, you know, like, a is just as effective like you're gonna get the key information and it's fun to look at i mean honestly i would rather look at this than than you know just a regular textbook and i'm not a, you know like so i feel like this is still very very valuable for her to go along with that i picked up this book from uh a called amazing evolution and it's also just a children's uh book <clears throat> but it's more more of a resource resource book style so there's lots of um, pictures, but also lots of information about all of the things. <clears throat> so those books, I'm, and well, and then this one too. This one I picked up just because I thought, I, I saw it on another, um, the Secular and Free Homeschool. Um, I don't know if her channel's still up, but if it is, I will link it for you guys. Um, she shared this and I just thought, what an amazing thing is, it's all life cycles so it's not just like like it does have like life cycles of animals like a whole bunch of different animals like butterflies and and dragonflies and like all those typical typical ones but it also has let me find the page for you guys so it also has um space earth plants and fungi and animals so so really i thought that this like you know the space and earth section was a really unique take on this so i just thought that this would be a really great resource to have on hand i will definitely be using that space and earth cycles um in our history of science you know history slash science unit that we'll be doing and then it will you know that the other ones will be great to have for my younger kids so I just thought that that would be a really great resource book to have on hand. So I picked that up as well. And then the last one, um, When We Became Humans, it's kind of along that same evolution, um, an incredible evolutionary journey. So it's just kind of another resource. Honestly, I just couldn't decide between these two, so I just picked them both up. But it's again, just kind of like a really beautifully illustrated um, resource book. So. I picked up all of those to have on hand to create a unit study. <clears throat> Hello, I'm right here. <laughs> You're being silly. <clears throat> so to go along with the Harriet Tubman book, um, we are going to be doing, I don't, if you don't know, we've been doing like all the History Smashers. Um, unit studies on each one of those books and the next one up for us is the Underground Railroad so I picked up the Harriet Tubman and I picked up this Dear America um, every one of the books like the 
history quest books i've been able to find a dear america um book to go along with it and my daughter absolutely loves these i i mean i love them too so apparently these have been around for a really long time like even went back when we were younger um i wish i would have found them back then because i really enjoy them um now and i know i would have enjoyed them back then uh, but basically there are stories of a girl from different time periods throughout history and it's like their journal um and it's written by somebody else you know i don't know I'm not sure if they were like actual journals and then somebody just made them easier to read or, or what the <coughs> um, what the story is exactly behind them, but it's basically like reading the real life story of a girl during that time period. And so I've been able to find a Dear America book to go along with each of the History Quest um, unit studies that we've been, or not History Quest, History Smashers unit studies that we've been um, doing. And so I went ahead and picked up this one because it is during the same Civil War time era. So these two books will be for that History Smashers um, Underground Railroad uh, when I get to that. So I will be doing a video on um, developing that unit study because I did have a request for that. So make sure you've rang your notification bell if you wanna see that. And then one last one is this writer's toolbox. I've had this one kind of just hanging out in my um, my my to purchase later or my cart um, for a while. It's just been like hanging out in there, and I, it popped up as like, oh, you know, it's on sale. And so I went ahead and picked it up uh, because we are going to be doing a more focus on writing next year, and so I'm looking for resources to use to go along with that. And so I had seen this a while back, and somebody I, I might have—I don't remember who it was—but if I find it, I'll link their channel down below, um, and I'll you know I'll put it here. But I had—it's just basically like how to write, learn how to write letters, scary stories, poems, reports, journals, and fairy tales. Um, and so it tells you like what all you need to have. Let me see if I can find. So basically this is just a review from one of the sections. It gives you like different tools. Like, um, so to write a great journal, you need these 10 tools and it, and it goes through each, this is the last page. So it goes through each one of those tools and it just looks like a fun way to present this kind of information. Lots of really great colorful pictures and and kind of that step-by-step -step process of these are the things that you need. So I went ahead and picked up that one too. Um, once I start using it, I can give you guys a review of that book if you are interested. So that is what I've picked up. Oh, one last one. I'm, it's over here. <laughs> I have another video I'm going to be filming after this, and so I had set it aside. But I also picked up this uh, Gregor Mendel, The Friar Who Grew Peas, um, because we are going to be doing a unit study on him as well. And it's just a storybook, but it tells the story of... Um, how he learns to genetically modify his peas. So that is my recent Amazon haul of all the books that we picked up here recently. I hope you guys uh, found any of that useful. If there's anything, like if there's any of these that you, oh, I lied, there's one more. <laughs> I picked up the world history, um, everything you need to ace world history in one big fat notebook, the second edition, because they have updated it. So it says in here that they updated it. It has the second edition has been updated to present a more accurate, inclusive recounting of historical events. Conscious language is used throughout to ensure the respectful tone when referring to people and their experiences. And Unit 9 has been updated to include more recent key historical events. So I went ahead and picked up this one because we are going to be using this as a spine in our um, upcoming history of history slash history of science um, unit that we're going to be doing. So, <clears throat> or course, I guess it's more of a course. It's not really a unit, guys. It's going to be all year long. But I did go ahead and pick up the second edition. If you would like to see, because I have the first edition as well, if you would like to see a side-by-side, -side, let me know, and I will make that for you guys as well. So now I think that is all I'm going to share with you guys today. Uh, if you want to see anything more in-depth, let me know down in the comments. I think that is all. So I, while you're down there, I would love it if you would subscribe to this channel, ring that notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget, you can always follow us over on Instagram at homeschoolology. And I hope you will come back and chat with me again real soon. I'm going to go get this girl some food, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.